We are at Latour's Auto today doing a couple of cars. <laughs> One of them is this Saturn that we're debating on should we film this or not. It has a P0449 code, EVAP emission vent, solenoid control circuit malfunction. I have plenty of videos on vent solenoid faults. Um, this isn't one we're gonna do uh, start to finish. I'm gonna have Pete put this inside. We're gonna do a real quick visual underneath on the wiring to the vent valve, do a couple of quick checks. Maybe we'll include you in on that. Uh, we are working on this GMC behind me here that has a blower circuit malfunction. So between these two cars, I don't know, you guys will get something of value, okay? So uh, I guess from this point, we're moving away from the Saturn, going back to this GMC. I don't know if we're gonna use this or not. We're just looking for the vent valve real quick. That's four wires there. Oh, it's right here, Pete. <clears throat> Vent valves right here, Caleb. Two wire connector right up there. Got it. You got it? Yeah. All right. Two quick voltage measurements. Nice rusty frame. Thank you, Pennsylvania. All right, just use the digital multimeter here. So some bonus footage for you guys, even though we've done a ton of these EVAP vent control circuit faults in the past. Just trying to get Pete a 100% confirmation that this solenoid is bad and that we don't have a wiring problem. I should have 12 volts on two of the wires here. There's 12.3 on that wire to the right. I hate this song. You got zero volts on this wire. So what that means is we have an open in this solenoid. This solenoid's bad. I'm just gonna do a quick unplug it test for a bias voltage. Uh, can you hold that for me? Come on. Okay, unplugged. I was looking for a bias on this to say we're done. No bias voltage. Now I gotta do one more step to prove it to you. We have that. I need. Data link connector. Didn't have the key on. What's my voltage on that now? Zero. Still zero? Okay. I'm surprised that vent valve circuit was active without the key on. Either way, we should have had 12 and 12. With 12 and zero. 14, 14, 14. That's fine, no problem, thank you. 
Uh, I was looking for a bias voltage to say we're done. Now I need to bi-directionally control it and show that to you. I need my test light. Stay right there. I'm running. Yeah, you need a vent valve. Yeah, vent solenoids open. Okay, control circuit, bi-directional test. So what I'm gonna do real quick is just turn the driver on, show you guys the wiring is good from here all the way up, and we'll be done. Okay, so we're gonna use the existing power on the circuit. I'm gonna clip my test light to the, to the, um, back probing pin that I'm using and then the front side of it will go to the feed so basically I'm taking the power feed circuit and then I'm putting my test light in series and then when I give it a ground my test light should light I'm using my struggling here a little bit but better now you can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna go test light to my feed on the front side and I'm not spreading this pin I'm just touching it on there when I put my test light to ground see that's gonna light see the right that's to ground so I need a ground here proving that my wiring is good so my test lights now in series and then when I turn this on if I close it there you go. Closed. Energized. Open is de-energized. Closed. Energized. Open. All right, we're done. The way this circuit should have worked when we tested it with the solenoid plugged in, you'd have 12 volts coming in on the one pin, wraps through the coil of wire, comes back out, looks for a ground. What you should see when you first check these is 12 and 12. What I had was 12 and zero. So the zero volt signal means the circuit is either already energized or you have an open in the coil. And what I just proved to you guys here, circuit was not already energized. There are no wiring harness issues. The driver is fine. The driver was not stuck on. Low voltage signal, ground side switch circuit. One of your options would be the driver is stuck on. The harness is shorted to ground or the solenoid coil is open. Chapter three material again, scanner Danner premium. You guys need to check it out. Foundational stuff here, easy stuff. Opening the coil is what I just proved. By this bi-directional test, if I take my test light to battery positive like I just did, touch it on the control wire, if that light lit all the time, then we're talking short to ground in the wire or shorted driver. The light was not lit until I energized it with the scan tool in a bi-directional mode, proving wiring harness is good, proving driver is good, wiring's fine. Our 12 and zero reading that we had, only option, open in the solenoid coil itself, we're done. Again, I wanna remind you guys, chapter three material on scanner Danner premium, 14 day free trial, it is available from my website. Foundational stuff here guys, ground side switch circuitry, driver testing is what we did. Easy stuff, man. I hope to see you guys there. Caleb, thanks for being my cameraman. We'll see you guys next time. Final thought, this is for Caleb and this is for the rest of you guys. I wanna make sure we're clear on this circuit. So the rest of this, I'm gonna have you focus on my piece of paper right here. All right, here's our circuit for our vent valve. The vent valve is nothing more than a coil of wire and it's gonna go to, let's do it this way. It's gonna go to the computer. Inside the computer, just draw this as a switch. It's a transistor. This is my PCM, hard to write upside down. Okay, this is our circuit. This is hot when you turn the key on. Actually, it was hot all the time, but um, when you do measurements on a circuit like this, 12 volts coming in, We'd see 12 here. <laughs> okay. 
what we should see on this side, the two wires I was testing, I should see 12 here too, okay? Should be 12 and 12. And the reason why, even though there's a coil of wire there, even though there's resistance there, with the switch open, no current flow, no voltage drop. So what we had was 12 and zero on this control wire. The zero volt reading, there's three options. Either the coil is open, we have an open in the coil, we have a short to ground on the control wire, which would be grounding the circuit all the time, causing a zero volt signal. Or the driver is shorted closed, which would also be a ground pulling that to zero. So, so this would be zero volts, open coil, zero volts, short to ground, zero volts, shorted driver. By me unplugging the coil, taking a test light from this side, and putting it in series to this side, that's what I did. Use the test light bulb. When I first connected it, the test light was not lit. If the circuit was grounded here or here, the test light would have lit. It did not. I took the scan tool in a bi-directional mode and I told the computer, turn that driver on. When the computer turned that driver on, my test light lit. When I told the computer, turn the driver off, my test light Went, it went out. It tells me what about this wire, Caleb? And tells me what about this driver? That the driver is uh, driver's good. It's good, yeah. and there is no short to ground on that wire. Yeah, and so it's if the that coil. wire was shorted to ground, this light would have been lit all the time. The solenoid would have been energized all the time. They would have had issues getting gas because when you fill the tank, this vent valve needs to be open. So. There's only one option left. It's not this, it's not this. Only option, open in the coil, done. Okay, again, chapter three material guys, Scanner Danner Premium, this is the kind of stuff I do. You guys need to join me, I'm telling you, change your life. Thanks again, see you next time. <coughs> How's that for an intro? I don't know what we're working on, uh, sorry. <clears throat> Starting over. Hold on. Hold on. Get my bearings here. Some kind of Saturn piece of shit. An ecotech mode. Saturn something. Saturn or aura? A U R A. How do I? Aura. Aura. Saturn R. Pete says this is an EVAP leak. Uh, I'm just doing a quick code scan to make sure, and uh, you know maybe we'll go inside and put it on the rack and get a smoke machine on it. Let me just see what codes are here first. The 2.4 SFI. So 2009 Saturn Aura. Aura. 2.4 is the vehicle, and. Uh, I'm at Latour's Auto. I need to start over with all of this, Caleb. Default, so it's going to be the uh, the solenoid or the wiring to this, Pete. Um, so it's up to you. If you honestly, I don't, I don't even think I'm going to film this one. I, 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 I have enough of these vent control circuit malfunction codes. Yeah, I don't think we can have Pete in here. We can do an intro. <laughs> I'm Should already, we? I'm already rolling. I don't care, dude. Are you rolling now? Yeah. Oh, all right. I didn't realize that.